down, come on. so that no other eligible contestants can arrive. <laughs>
for jokes that are met with. No Chilton Thompson, no Hathaway Brown. <laughs> Come on. Looks like I and I alone and This is Hathaway Brown calling the adventurers. Oh. Oh, I'm coming in for a landing. No! no. Oh, yes, Professor. No. Looks like I have to crash land. Each contestant for the Balderdash Cup shall be eligible to compete, provided that he or she arrives before midnight of the contest date. Thank you. All right, Brown, but I get to go first. Fire when ready, Professor. Yeah, all right. along the way. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Yeah. Oil tankers along the way. <laughs> and finally, finally, the great beast grew tired and released me along the shores of uh, Britannica. <laughs> and that is how I became the first man to circumnavigate the globe without a boat. <laughs> Professor, what happened to the shark? He became a lawyer! <laughs> Sounds like Shangri-La to me, Professor. Now I'll tell you a tale of real adventure. I couldn't find Tilton Chompson. Then you can't compete. But I didn't... Ah. Oh, now hold on there, Ren. Oh. Oh. Say, little adventurer, do you have a tale you can prove? Yes, sir, I do. All right, then let your tale be told. Hot 
dog. After me. But I wanted to explain about it. I was flying relief supplies to the victims of a cataclysmic earthquake off the island of Krakatoa. I wasn't just sport fishing for the fun of it, Professor. Oh, why, 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 Gypsy moth slowly disintegrated in the lava's heat. Oh, I wasn't afraid to die. You know that, dear, don't you? <laughs> I was merely certain that the relief supplies might not reach the children of Krakatoa in time. Hold me. Up like <laughs> <laughs> I took <laughs> off the plane and I used the rudder as a surfboard to ride the lava. Then the entire floor of the crater collapsed from under me, and I found myself being sucked down into a vast sea inside an immense cavern. And there, at the far end of this vaulted world, stood an island gleaming with lights. This, this was Atlantis. The Lost Continent! Yeah. <laughs> what happened to the medical supplies? I mailed them. <laughs> You're lying. You have no proof. No proof? No proof. No proof. No proof. No problem. No problem. Here is your proof. A pack of matches from the Atlantis Bar and Grill. <laughs> and while I was in the bar, Professor, I met Amelia Earhart and Will Rogers, who autographed this bar napkin for me. <laughs> Isadora Duncan gave me the scarf. Oh, of all three things. Oh, you guys sure love that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't like it. Oh, and what exactly has your adventurous exploits concerned? Pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Pigeons! Pigeons can be an adventure. I'm Max for excitement, romance, and sheer unvarnished drama. Well, I'm sure, but who here would be interested in a story about pigeons? Yeah. How quickly they turn. Be their guest, but let it be on your heads. <laughs> Fuck! 
especially those of you who voted for me. <laughs> and we invite you back here in the library in about another half hour for one of our other major events, the second annual Radio Fawn Talent Program. All the permanent members will be here on the stage doing their act for you. Until then, we go out and explore the rest of the club, but always remember our club's motto. Some days you eat the bear, and some days the bear eats you. But all